Hey guys, today we are going to use Affinity Designer again. I'm going to show you how to create vector ribbons. You can also download them, link in the description below. Okay, so let's start. Here I am on my new blank canvas. I will use shape tool, rectangle tool to be specific. Let's set up color. I don't need stroke, I don't need outline color, so just the fill color here and here is my first shape I'm going to duplicate it rescale I change wheel to slider easier for me to pick a little bit darker color here okay now I need to move it lower so I just drag it and drop on the layer panel I will use some snapping here, so you can go to this little menu with the magnet and click Snap to Object Geometry. This way you can see these additional lines that will help us to align our shapes. Snapping is really handy. Now, Knot Tool. I'm going to convert to Curve first and then using Knot Tool I'm going to add extra node here. One more shape, I will start with rectangle again. Make it a little bit darker. I need to convert it to curves as well. And now using not I'm going to delete this one node. So click on it and hit delete on your keyboard. Let's change this from solid color to gradient, like this. So you get this shadow-like effect there. And now duplicate this one and flip. Here it is. Our first ribbon is done. I duplicate the whole ribbon. Let's adjust the color first. I'm selecting this with shift so I can select multiple shapes and then I can move, flip it and move it up. Adjust the colors of two objects. You hold shift to select more than one object. Like this, okay. Gradient here. So gradient tool and just drag your mouse to set up the gradient angle. From here to here, no, other way, like this, okay. We can make this one longer, so let's move it here and scale this one. Okay, second one, finished. Three more to go. Let's start with a rectangle tool again. Duplicate. change to curves first before we can modify knots. Okay. Here one extra like previously. I'm going to select this two and change the way the corner is made. More softer. Okay. Drag it outside a little bit. More organic shape this time. Actually, I should recolor everything so we got different color for each ribbon. So let's change the color quickly and now we can apply gradient again. Like this. Move it back behind it. Okay. Duplicate, flip. As you can see, this extra guideline is really helping here when you're working with shapes. Okay, third one finished. Two more to go. Let's align them maybe to the middle. Now I'm going to group them. So select with your mouse and then you can right click and group or you can use also shortcut. Command or Control G. 
I'm going to align this to the middle. This one as well. Okay. Two more. Rectangle tool. Let's try to make some kind of double ribbon here. I'm going to duplicate this one so it's exact same length like this. Move it below here. Oops. Below here. Okay. It's time to change the color of this one. Let's make this part darker and like always maybe some gradient this way so we got this little shadow like thing going on okay and now I'm going to use circle like this to finish up this little ribbon so I'll put circle here and I'll copy this one duplicate and here I'm going to cut this out like this and here I will unite these two shapes. Now I need to drag this below. Now it's on the top again. Okay, it should be here. Here it is. My fourth ribbon. Double ribbon like this. Okay, I can group that using shortcut command G. It's already aligned to the middle. So let's experiment with the last one. I start with shape tool again, rectangle, convert to curve so we can modify knots. Should I go with the straight ribbon or should I curve it a little bit? Mm, let's experiment here. You know what? We, not, we are not going to start with rectangle. Let's use donut tool this time. So I can show you one more tool here. Donut tool. It's like circle with hole inside that we can easily modify. Take a look. Can you see that? I can just modify this circle like this. It's called Donut Tool. It's a very specific tool for having to design that. And now I can convert to curves, flip, and here it is, my curve ribbon using Donut Tool really fast. Okay, so here it is. I think you're going to flick it back here. So we got this curvy ribbon. This should be smaller, I believe, and a little bit lower. So we've got this feeling like it's folded behind. Okay. Almost there. Let's make a copy. Flip the copy. Position. It's time to recolor everything. So I'm selecting everything and then use the color slider on the right. This one and this one with gradient. We can select both of them at the same time like this and here's our last ribbon made with donut tool donut is like circle with the hole in the middle it's fully adjustable really handy tool you can try it you should try it out okay here it is our five ribbons i hope it's useful for you and you can also download the source files for these ribbons 
in the description. There's a link there for you. Thank you for today and see you in my next tutorial.